Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's have a look at uh, a kind of interesting blur called a diffuse glow. Um, well, let's 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 look at it to see how it works. It's just not what you might think it is, because you might think it just gives oh, just sort of romantic glow to things, but maybe not. Well, the first thing I do is is when I put this on, look at me turning the, turn this on and off. There's something happening here already, because the default settings are with it partially working and if i turn this on and off notice that you're getting an effect at the lighter end of things for example look at this down here see on and off and the darker end of things nothing much is happening and that's one of the things about it it affects the lights so we put that on and let's play with some of these controls and see what happens the intensity is is how much of an effect it has here but watch this so i pull that up and down see it's affecting more or less so that the area in which is having an effect so here it's just in this beginning area here or this half because this line here is defined by the threshold because if i change this see that area how much of the lights are affected so if i turn the threshold down then i get more being affected and uh, if I just do a reset to the normal thing here, and if I move up R radius, you can see maybe a bit easier up here in something like the blue. See where that's curved there? Look, watch me as I do this up and down. It's there's, there's a sort of blurring effect going on even in the corners around here. So where it's next to another color, that's important, which is what blur does. So let's have a look at this in a real picture. So here let's do a here go to a diffuse glow and what happens then when if I turn the radius down and up see as I turn it up there's a blow a bit of a blur in fact if I double click this it's gonna fit into uh, go go back to here so if I just turn it on and off for a moment look at this see there's already an effect and you can see there again it's the lights which are being affected there's not an overall glow to the whole thing around the outside as such it's affecting the contrast it's a bit like a sort of dodge and burn type thing where the dodging is you know, it's making it lighter so what can we do we can turn the radius up sort of blurs it. If I were to zoom into this here, where I've got something like a bit of contrast across here, let's go right into the pixel level here. And now watch how what happens here. See, look, I'm going in and out here. There, the radius is creating a blur. Yeah. So when the radius right down, you've got the pixels and sort of hard edges to things. And as you turn it up, the colors are changing within a pixel related to its, its uh, neighbors, but only in the lighter areas. And if I turn the intensity up, it's effectively making that lightness much lighter. Yeah. But affecting only the light areas. So areas like this here are not being affected. And the threshold affects where it is happening. So as I turn this up, it creeps across a wider area. So let's reset that and have a look at the whole thing. And so threshold, see, this is going to turn it up. And in fact, if you turn the, the threshold down like that, you start to get almost a monochromy kind of effect. If you turn up the intensity right up and the threshold in the middle here and play with the radius you can get some interesting effects within this already so let's reset that and just do let's kind of a workflow to get the effect you want first of all turn the radius down turn the intensity right up and turn the threshold right up opacity is just the same as opacity down here it effectively um just like an overall you know how much of the effect gets seen and gets through but first of all what we do is we turn this up here we turn the after the thresholds up we start turning the threshold down 
and we watch on the face there you can see the way it starts creeping into the face so if we don't have we don't want to have some an overall uh, effect say we want to make it just a little bit here the light just a little bit lighter add a bit of contrast to the face that's about good but it's obviously here where, what's happening so we want to turn down the intensity so now it's getting a bit more natural and then we want to blur that a bit into it so smooth it off so I turn up the radius until it's smoothing it and then I can go back around the other ones maybe turn the intensity down a little bit there maybe the radius not needed quite so much there play with the threshold a bit how much do we want to have here and so on so you're bouncing those three there so there we go the diffuse glow works on the lighter areas uh, and if you do a before and after on this look before after see we've just lightened up the side of the face there so it doesn't kind of automatic um, dodging without having to paint everywhere so hope you like that and thank you very much for watching